logical symbols representing IFF in logic and related fields such as mathematics and philosophy. If and only if is a biconditional logical connective between statements. In that it is biconditional, the connective can be likened to the standard material conditional combined with its reverse, hence the name. The result is that the truth of either one of the connected statements requires the truth of the other. It is controversial whether the connective thus defined is properly rendered by the English, if and only if, with its pre-existing meaning. There is nothing to stop one from stipulating that we may read this connective as only if and if, although this may lead to confusion. In writing, phrases commonly used, with debatable propriety, as alternatives to P, if and only if Q include Q is necessary and sufficient for P. P is equivalent to Q, P precisely if Q, P precisely when Q, P exactly in case Q, and P just in case Q. Many authors regard IFF as unsuitable in formal writing, others use it freely. In logic formulae, logical symbols are used instead of these phrases. See the discussion of notation. Definition. The truth table of PQ is as follows. Note that it is equivalent to that produced by the XNOR gate, and opposite to that produced by the XOR gate. Usage. Notation the corresponding logical symbols are, and, and sometimes, IFF. These are usually treated as equivalent. However, some texts of mathematical logic make a distinction between these, in which the first is used as a symbol in logic formulas while is used in reasoning about those logic formulas. In Lukasiewicz's notation, it is the prefix symbol E. Another term for this logical connective is exclusive nor. Proofs in most logical systems, one proves a statement of the form PIFFQ by proving if P then Q and if Q then P. Proving this pair of statements sometimes leads to a more natural proof, since there are not obvious conditions in which one would infer a biconditional directly. An alternative is to prove the disjunction, or, which itself can be inferred directly from either of its disjuncts, that is, because IFF is truth functional, PIFFQ follows if P and Q have both been shown true, or both false. Origin of IFF usage of the abbreviation IFF first appeared in print in John L. Kelly's 1955 book General Topology. Its invention is often credited to Paul Halmos, who wrote, I invented IFF for, if and only if, but I could never believe I was really its first inventor, distinction from, if, and only if. Madison will eat the fruit if it is an apple. This states simply that Madison will eat fruits that are apples. It does not, however, exclude the possibility that Madison might also eat bananas or other types of fruit. All that is known for certain is that she will eat any and all apples that she happens upon. That the fruit is an apple is a sufficient condition for Madison to eat the fruit. Madison will eat the fruit only if it is an apple. This states that the only fruit Madison will eat is an apple. It does not, however, exclude the possibility that Madison will refuse an apple if it is made available, in contrast with, which requires Madison to eat in any available apple. In this case, that a given fruit is an apple is a necessary condition for Madison to be eating it. It is not a sufficient condition since Madison might not eat all the apples she is given. Madison will eat the fruit if and only if it is an apple. This statement makes it clear that Madison will eat all and only those fruits that are apples. She will not leave any apple uneaten, and she will not eat any other type of fruit. That a given fruit is an apple is both a necessary and a sufficient condition for Madison to eat the fruit. Sufficiency is the inverse of necessity. That is to say, given PQ, P would be a sufficient condition for Q, and Q would be a necessary condition for P. Also, given PQ, it is true that QP. This means that the relationship between P and Q, established by PQ, can be expressed in the following, all equivalent, ways. 
P is sufficient for Q, Q is necessary for P, Q is sufficient for P, P is necessary for Q as an example, take, above, which states P, Q, where P is, the fruit in question is an apple, and Q is, Madison will eat the fruit in question. The following are four equivalent ways of expressing this very relationship. If the fruit in question is an apple, then Madison will eat it. Only if Madison will eat the fruit in question, is it an apple. If Madison will not eat the fruit in question, then it is not an apple. Only if the fruit in question is not an apple, will Madison not eat it. So we see that, above, can be restated in the form of if, then is, if Madison will eat the fruit in question, then it is an apple. Taking this in conjunction with, we find that, can be stated as, if the fruit in question is an apple, then Madison will eat it, and if Madison will eat the fruit, then it is an apple. More general usage. IFF is used outside the field of logic, wherever logic is applied, especially in mathematical discussions. It has the same meaning as above. It is an abbreviation for if and only if, indicating that one statement is both necessary and sufficient for the other. This is an example of mathematical jargon. The elements of X are all and only the elements of Y is used to mean.